Hello there, welcome back to Decaf Math ASMR and welcome, welcome if you are new here. Actually, I was wondering if you could do me a favor today. What favor? Ah, that is wise. It is always wise to ask what favor before you agree to something. That makes sense. Um, actually, my request is very simple. I was wondering if you wouldn't mind falling asleep as I work out a double integral. That's it. And the less attention that you can pay to it, the better. Yes, you wouldn't mind. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, because I've had this double integral that I have been meaning to work out just, you know, with constant bounds and everything, a very straightforward one, but I've had nobody to ignore me. So I hope that you wouldn't mind doing that for me and just drifting off. That would be perfect. Okay, great. Yes. So it's just going to be very simple. I'm just going to be working it out and taking a look at it, and um, I don't need to touch your face. I know a lot of ASMR videos, you know, the ASMR artist asks to touch your face and they poke it and they tap on it and stuff like that. Um, but no, this is all going to be in our mind, okay? So, no worries about that. Um, and yeah, that, that really is it. The more that you can ignore me, the better drool marks, snoring, it's all good, it's all okay. Um, also, what was I gonna say? Uh, if you wouldn't mind, as I'm working through it, if you could release all of your worries or stressors or just concerns, sadness, anything unpleasant into the integral, um, that would be perfect because that would help fuel me along, and as I simplify things, and as I calculate this integral, um, it'll just work out nicely and cleanly, so the more you can do that, the better actually, but other than that, you know, just try not to pay attention. If you prefer to just kind of prop your head up on your hands, um, like you did as a kid in school, it's okay. If you want to just cuddle up in bed, that's okay too, okay? Oh, good. Thank you so much. You're the best. All right, so um, this is the double integral I'm working on today, and I hope that you're already ignoring me. And basically, we have dx and dy, and they have all constant bounds. So all you have to do is work inside out, okay? Cool. All right. Perfect. So we're going dx first, and then we're going to do the 1 and 5 have to do with x's, and then this thing is going to be a function of y, and then we do the outer one with respect to y. Okay? Perfect. All right, so let's do this. we take the integral with respect to x, we treat any and all other variables as a constant. So you just integrate to x and you get x squared over 2. Then I would multiply 2 divided by 2 goes away. Or you could just integrate 2x with respect to x, which is just x squared. So then the y is a constant. We treat it as that and we have x squared. Um, can I ask why you're watching? Oh, I know. Math can just be really fascinating, but really in just this one instance, could you just not pay attention? Okay, perfect. Alright, so x squared y, 1 and 5 for our bounds for x. So I'm just solving this inner part first. Plug in 5 for my x and 1 my x and subtract, so 5 squared 
y minus 1 squared y, so that's 25y minus y. And so that leaves me with a chihuahua. A chihuahua riding on the back of a llama. Perfect. Okay, cool. So I have that, and then I put it into the other integral, and Today is going to be the day that they're going to throw it back to you. By now, you should have somehow realized what you got to do. Um, okay, so we have 24y dy, and I put the 24y in, and now I have a single variable integral. Perfect. So that would be 12y squared, and I put in 2 and 4 there. Okay, so it's great showing you the math um, when you can't see it because your eyes are closed. Perfect. Okay, so then I have 12 times 4 squared. dy dx. Okay, so I'm going to do inside out now that you're asleep right now. Let's see here. We have the integral with respect to y first. So we have y squared x or xy squared and the 2 and the 4 apply to my y values now. So I have x times 4 squared minus x times So now we have 12x here, so we integrate from 1 to 5, 12x dx, okay, so now we just have a regular Five. 
six is one four. 